Hello students, hope you listened to my previous class. In the last class, we had learned something about psycholinguistic principles. I hope I was clear to you. Today we are going to learn a psycholinguistic theory put forth by Noam Chomsky, the pioneer psycholinguist. Shall we begin? Language development has been explained by different schools of psychology. Some of the important psychological theories related to language development are that of behaviorism, cognitivism and constructivism. These theories have significant implications on the teaching and learning of languages. As language teachers, we should be aware of these theories and their implications in order to make the teaching and learning of language effective and interesting. Abraham Noam Chomsky is an American linguist, philosopher, cognitive scientist, historian, social critic and political activist. He is sometimes called the father of modern linguistics. Chomsky belongs to the cognitive school of psychology who sees the learner as an active processor of information rather than a passive imitator as in the case of the behaviorist. The learners learn by thinking and by making sense of what they see, hear and feel. Chomsky put forth the innatist approach to language acquisition. What do you mean by the word innatist? The word innatist comes from the word innate or inborn or inherent. He argues that all normal humans have an innate or inborn language ability or in other words, Human beings are born with the ability to learn language. Chomsky's theory directly challenges behavioral learning theories which argue that language is not innate but learned step by step through imitation, conditioning and reinforcement. Chomsky was of the view that language cannot be always reduced to drilling and patterned behavior as advocated by the behaviorists. He also claimed that language is not always a matter of habit formation. Noam Chomsky questioned the behaviorists. He asked them, how can you explain the creative expressions of an individual? Creativity is something original. A creative thought, idea or work is not imitated. If children learn a language by imitating, how come they say things they have never heard before? According to him, the errors committed by children while using language are evidences of the creative use of language. Let us go deeper into Chomsky's innatist approach to language acquisition. Noam Chomsky's innatist approach to language acquisition emphasizes the role of nature in the language acquisition process. The human child is born with the ability to acquire language. Or in other words, the human child is genetically programmed to learn a language. The child has a kind of data processing mechanism that Chomsky calls the language acquisition device. This enables the human child to learn a language long before any formal instruction takes place. That is to say, a human child learns to speak 
pretty well even before he goes to school or receives any kind of formal instruction and according to chomsky this language acquisition device is nothing but the knowledge of the basic grammar rules of the language and he says these basic grammar rules apply to most or all natural human languages children on the basis of this limited knowledge acquire their language chomsky calls this set of rules universal grammar it is universal because these rules form the common underlying structure for all human languages let's now see something more about universal grammar the basic idea of universal grammar has been around since the 13th century however the most famous theory of the idea of a universal grammar was put forth by noam chomsky in the 1950s in linguistics the theory of universal grammar holds that there are certain fundamental grammatical ideas which all humans possess without having to learn them chomsky held that this universal grammar is hardwired into the brain of all humans and according to him all human languages have evolved on top of this universal grammar children learn their native languages using the universal grammar as a support structure to understand the concept of universal grammar let us see the following case speakers proficient in a language know what expressions are acceptable in the language and what expressions are unacceptable that is to say people who are competent in a particular language they know what expressions are wrong and what expressions are correct that's the key puzzle how do these speakers come to know the restrictions of the language for example in english the sentence the following sentence is an unacceptable one the sentence what did john meet a man who sold you won't find any proficient speaker using this kind of expressions such expressions are not available to language learners they never get to hear such wrong expressions from a native speaker of the language they don't get such expressions from the environment that is to say there is absence or poverty of such unacceptable expressions in the language this is the core of the poverty of stimulus argument what is poverty of stimulus language learners are not exposed to unacceptable expressions or stimulus in the environment there is lack or poverty of stimulus in the environment even then the proficient users of the language can recognize an unacceptable expression what is the reason for this chomsky's theory of universal grammar offers a solution for this even without any input or stimulus from the environment the language learners realize that certain expressions are wrong because 
of their innate knowledge of the fundamental rules of grammar which are the same for all languages of the world this is a proof of the fact that a universal grammar is hardwired into the brain of all humans that was about universal grammar another point put forth by the innatist approach is that environment plays an important role in acquisition of language because we saw human beings are born with an ability to learn language that is they have the knowledge of the basic structure of grammar of language and this structure is the same for most or all natural human languages if this is so all people of the world would speak the same language here comes the role of environment to which the child is exposed this approach assumes that all that is needed is the child's exposure to a language and the lad will take over the child when exposed to a language environment hears certain language utterances this serves as input this input is processed by the innate ability or lad of the child the output of this process are the various utterances produced by the child this can be explained to the figure given below please observe the figure however it is to be noted that the environment simply provides the raw data for language acquisition device to analyze and is not the crucial part in the innatist model of language learning theory the child's interaction with others or in other words the role of social environment in language acquisition is not crucial to this theory of language acquisition they focused on the physical environment rather than the social environment from chomsky's perspective the strongest evidence for the existence of universal grammar is simply the fact that children successfully acquire their native languages in so little time his theory of a universal grammar was seen by many as a direct challenge to the established behaviorist theories of the time according to chomsky the child's exposure to language is limited and gradual he doesn't acquire all the rules at once in the process of learning the child discovers rules about the use of the language sometimes the rules so formulated may prove wrong in such cases the learner modifies his rule or discovers a new rule thus the learner finally arrives at the correct rule but only after only by going through a series of incorrect rules so according to chomsky language learning seems to be largely a process of hypothesis formation and tryouts at each step the child seems to be seeking rules of sentence formation the child ultimately comes to have a very large number of very complex rules which will permit him to use the language as concretely as an adult some of the implications of the innatist approach are the innate language ability of the child should be exploited students of second language should be exposed to rich language environment this will stimulate the learner's innate language learning ability and facilitate language acquisition second language classrooms should provide 
a rich language environment. So far, we were going through the innatist approach to language acquisition put forth by Noam Chomsky. Now, let us sum up what we saw so far. The innatist theory of language acquisition is the contribution of Noam Chomsky. According to this theory, all normal humans are born with the ability to learn language. The child has a kind of data processing mechanism that Chomsky calls the language acquisition device or LAD. This LAD is the knowledge of the basic grammar rules. And these rules apply to most or all natural human languages. And children, on the basis of this limited knowledge, acquire their language. Chomsky calls this set of rules universal grammar. The environment provides the input for the language acquisition device to work and produce the language output. I have some follow-up questions for you. What is the innatist theory of language acquisition? What is language acquisition device or LAD? Explain the concept of universal grammar. Write a short note on the implications of Chomsky's theory of LAD in teaching and learning languages. I hope I was clear to you. Thank you.